Pondi Church. Today, we are standing in front of you with, especially with some good news. From day one, 2019, January 1st, I came to office and I was thinking um, we didn't have an app at the time. And also, I was thinking when I talked to people and so many complaints I heard from our employees and even our residents, so how do you, we have to spell it out, Fort Bend County TX.gov kind of thing. And then they say, can you spell it? Then they say at the end, can you just text it to me? So, so we are trying to find a solution. And obviously, we had numerous conversations with our um, uh, information technology department, thanks to Robin. Um, uh, Dari right behind me and also the team uh, you see here they worked hard behind the scene to uh, bring us today here creating two important tools so that uh, our county residents can communicate with us uh, better efficient and effective manner and also our, our county uh, employees can uh, make you know we want to make their life a little bit a uh, little bit easier and and also i just wanted to add here uh, even when before i came into office one of the number one thing uh, number one priority i put in front of people was better communication better transparency um, you know people should know uh, if the fastest growing one of the fastest growing county is fort bend county people should know who their elected officials are what services is available and things of that nature as you know we took them to the to the corners of Fort Bend uh, County, our county departments, and so on and so forth. But today, they are they can even access it from home. Um, so that's uh, today. I'm very proud. I'm very excited to announce that our new domain name is going to be fbctx.gov. Fbctx.gov. Don't let your heart be troubled. If you're still excited to use the old uh, long one, it is still it will still work. So, uh, but I don't know anyone is going to be excited about it. So, <clears throat> and so, and also I wanted to say uh, better communication. When you look at there are there are more website, there are more apps are accessed, maybe ten times, hundred times more than websites. We all know that there are people in Fort Bend County. I I know they have a smartphone, but maybe they don't have access to. Uh, a regular computer. And so that's the reason why we are launching something called uh, My FBC, uh, the app. And so it streamlined the Fort Bend County's access uh, for county information, communication, uh, people could access uh, information and people could uh, communicate with uh, our county officials and also uh, they could put applications for, you know, especially county is a record keeper and things of that nature. If you wanted to get a birth certificate and this and that, you could even start that application there. So there are so many level this app is going to benefit and, um, you know, bring uh, residents close to or um, bring county close to the residents. So our goal is, as I promised from day one, our goal is to make it simple so that they have access to whatever the service they are looking for. Uh, and also you know that information can only move as fast as technology. And so that's why we are moving technology so that the information can move faster. Um, and of course, this is a result of we listening to Fort Bend County residents, as I mentioned, and also um, listening to our employees. And we have almost 3,200 employees in Fort Bend County, and they always, many people always said, "Why can't we make it? Why can't we make it simple?" Um, you know, this this is an answer uh, to all that question. Once again, uh, um, we are launching the domain name FBC tx.gov and also my fbc app and the details specific details i know that it is available on app store and also um, uh, for the iphone uh, uh, apple store and also um, uh, other you know the um, android android uh, play store so um, it is available and i will ask our um, uh, technology department uh, director Robin and this uh, Robin Dari and so I wanted to say uh, from day one this person came into uh, that position we are working very closely at different level and every single day 
She is available. She is working, I don't know, 24-7. Is that what it is? <laughs> Technology doesn't sleep, so I think it looked like Robin also worked 24-7. And anytime I called, and irrespective of the time, and she is available to answer, she is available to serve the Fort Bend residents. We all, uh, I'm, I wanted to say I'm, we are so happy and lucky to have somebody like Robin. Robin, would you please take it from here and give uh, specific details of this um, uh, two tools we are uh, providing today yes, for sir. the residents, please. Yes. Thank you, Judge George. Thank you. And good morning. My name is Robin Dowdy. I'm the IT Director, CIO here for Fort Bend County. And I want to um, announce, um, as Judge George said, we're excited to announce the launch of these two new tools uh, to make it easier for the public to be able to communicate with Fort Bend County staff. What we've done is we've created a new domain or a new website address, and it is called fbctx.gov. Um, we've also created a new mobile app that you can download right now in the Apple Store or in the Android Play Store, and it is called MyFBC. Uh, we frequently heard that our email address was too long, um, and thanks to, to the initiative by Judge George, we were able to acquire this domain to help our residents and visitors communicate and get more information about from the county. Um, we also implemented the, the mobile app that I mentioned, the MyFBC. Um, and with that, you can sign up and view emergency alerts and notifications. We have several different news and quick link items that you'll be able to see. And then I also want to take the time to recognize the team that's here before I hand it over to Jahan Tolliver, who's going to discuss all of the details about those different apps. And so I have with me Ron Vissa. He is our digital and content management supervisor. And Beverly Chance, she is our applications and systems programming manager, along with Jahan Tolliver, our IT assistant director and security manager. Um, along with all the other um, IT employees and uh, with Judge George's support, we have pushed forth with these two new tools to better serve our community. Thank and Robin, you. I also hear that this app is created in house. Yes. Can yes, you it is. Talk? Please, yes. Please, please. <laughs> yes. So uh, we've worked for several months, um, probably over, over the year. Um, over the last year, we've worked to uh, sit down with different departments and offices and understand what they want to be able to communicate to the public. And so we have a developer in-house um, that Ron has been working with, and he has helped us to launch this app and implement all of the features that uh, we feel the community would want to be able to communicate with our, with our staff. Okay. Thank you. Tom, please go ahead. Thank you, Robin. Good morning. So as Robin has stated, the purpose of the FBC mobile app is to provide information, alerts, updates, and other notifications to Fort Bend County residents. Residents can now have access to information across Fort Bend County at their fingertips. And there are many benefits to downloading this mobile app. You can get, uh, residents can get disaster notifications from our Homeland Security and Emergency Management Office. Residents can get active emergency alerts from our Sheriff's Office and from our constables. They can also get jury and court uh, information. And more importantly, you can get coronavirus and vaccination updates. And you can also get voting information. For example, how do I vote? Where do I go to vote? How do I register? Uh, how long are the wait times at my voting site? You can also live stream Commissioner's Court with this from this My FBC mobile app. And also you have the ability to know who your representatives are uh, for the state of Texas and for Fort Bend County. The app can geo-reference your, lo your location in real time to tell you where you are and tell you who your representative is for that location. And it can also tell you what precinct you're in. Uh, additionally, with the app, you can also retrieve and submit information instead of having to show up on site. You can do a public record search, you can pay your county taxes, and you can also submit a concern directly to, an IT or to any department in Fort Bend County. We've also implemented a chat feature with my FBC mobile. So this gives residents the ability to chat directly with the county judge's office, and the department, uh, each department can also set different chat, chat times. For example, a department can chat from one to five on Tuesdays, or whatever time they set. And so uh, Fort Bend County is also proud to be one of the most diverse counties in the nation. And as a result of that, the, uh, the app can be translated in over 100 languages. So and also with the app, you can receive push notifications. 
So if emergencies are pushed out across Fort Bend County, that alert will be pushed directly to F my FBC mobile app. So I'm sure you all remember the, the winter storm we recently had. So with the app, you can get real-time updated information, alerts, and notifications. So we are very excited, as you can tell, to launch the new FBCTX.gov domain and the My FBC mobile app. So again, you can download the My FBC mobile app if you have an iPhone from the Apple Store and from your Android from the Play Store. We plan to expand this feature even more over time to create a better mobile experience for our residents. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ron. Um, obviously, this is this is we are launching it. Um, I'm sure, maybe there are, there's, we always appreciate um, if you have any feedback or how we can make it better, and we are always open to that. And with that, I will tell you, um, please go ahead. And you had a list, Ron just read, Johan just read, and that's almost anything you do in your life, uh, county services, everything is on your fingertips. Please take advantage of it. it. We waited so long and we worked behind the scene to make all this happen. And so let's take advantage of it. With that, I will. Uh, I appreciate you all are being here and I conclude the press conference here. If you have any question, uh, we can entertain at this moment. Uh, just, um, obviously it's gonna be out, um, launching on, from App Store and Android and Both. that's a free uh, application? Absolutely, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you mentioned, sir, that it's going to be available on 100 translations on any assignment? 100, that's what? 100 languages. 100 languages, yeah. yes. So obviously that is not an issue um, when it comes to, because in Fort Bend County, I believe that is important. Um, there are people maybe not 100% um, can communicate in English, so that's why we wanted to accommodate them. How was the process just to, to get the app? Because as you mentioned, you were talking with your um, employers, you were talking with the community. It means it was a, a, a very big process. First of all, process. you have to begin with the domain. You have to apply to Washington, D.C. and get the, it's a GOV domain name. So the, the, that department had to approve it. And so it take a while. Uh, so they have to call me back and, you know, all, all kind of verification they had to do. It took a while. And so uh, that's, that's why it took a while. I mean, you know, we started this conversation at least a year, a year and a half, maybe more than, more than that. So we are here. We are here. It is being launched. And, uh, and we will continue to improve it. And, and any other questions? And that might be, I will, I will pass it on to you. Yes. Just go ahead. Thank you, sir. So as you know, our, our network sits behind a firewall. So it is highly secure. So uh, there will be no public uh, information, uh, uh, public information uh, accessed. Uh, so I feel confident that the app is secure. But you are submitting, you can apply for different licenses and stuff. So there will be some secure, or there will be some sensitive data submitted on the app. Right. right. So if any sensitive information will sit behind our firewall. So just because it's submitted doesn't mean everybody else will see it. It'll be only accessible for those who need access to that information. We're in the middle of hurricane season. You all mentioned about how this app would have been great um, during the winter storm. Could we just explain to Fort Bend County residents, you know, if a hurricane, hopefully one doesn't come, but if one comes, kind of what information would come out that would be used for them, why they should be downloading this app? First of all, um, see, you all know that we have a testing system, uh, uh, Everbridge, uh, you know, uh, there you, we push out information before this app. So now it has even got better with the app and all the information, anything coming out of um, uh, our Office of Emergency Management, it will be synced with, that's the right yes, word, yes, right? Yes, synced yes. with this app. And so that's going to be accessible. And also you heard about notification. You get push notification. So, so you're going to know what is going on in Fort Bend County uh, when it comes to as far as hurricanes or any kind of emergency is concerned. Any other question? Yeah. Just with the app, can you choose what notifications you can get? Is it more along those lines? Because yeah. I'm just imagining if you're getting, you know, obviously for emergencies you get it, but if you don't, you know, your, your phones will be blown up every Please. time. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question, sir. Thank you. You can opt in or opt out of notifications. Um, so you, you'll get a chance to do that. So that is your choice. That's a very good question. 
Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Yes, sir. Uh, with that, we will conclude this. Thank you for being here, and I appreciate your, your work, and um, let's all make our life continue to make it simple and easy so that we all can get back to work. And we wanted to serve and make Fort Bend County continue to be a better place for our residents. Thank you. Thank you.